What's up, dudes and dudes? It's time for another Brotherhood game review, and uh, this time I'm gonna be talking about some Batman Arkham Origins. So, uh, enough talk. Let's start. But first, we're gonna be talking about uh, the Nowhere to Run trailer, which is which features Firefly. There, are, of course, there are eight assassins in the game, and uh, we I can't really name all of them in this video, but uh, I'm, I'll make sure that the ones that I know of, I'll let you know. But uh, okay, let's let's start. And, uh, well, first, you know how things go. I'm actually gonna, uh, read about it, answer a few questions. Yeah, basically. But, uh, okay. Kicking things off for Gamescom 2013, Warner Bros. Interactive Entertainment and DC Entertainment unveil a new ki new trailer for Batman Arkham Origin titled Nowhere to Run. The trailer showcases the indomitable supervillains hell-bent on taking down the bat and gives a first look at Firefly. One of the eight assassins featured in Batman Arkham Origins is capable of raining fire from above. You can view the Batman Arkham Origins um, trailer. Uh, I'll probably post a link on that, so check that out, please. Duh. This is what he looks like. Okay, so that's basically it. Uh, we're we'll talking. And, uh, okay, if my phone wants to cooperate. Okay, now we're going to be talking about the multiplayer part of the game, and, uh, is the, uh, it's, it's really fun. Let me, uh, bring it up some so I can read it. But, uh, da-da-da. Warner Bros. Interactive Entertainment and DC Entertainment today confirmed that Batman Arkham Origins will ship a mode that allows players to take the franchise's award win and gameplay online to play with friends and foes across the internet. You can view the Batman Arkham Origins, also trailer will be linked down uh, down below on the video so uh, yeah it's in three versus three versus two online showdown where every match is different and uh basically you could play as robin a dlc nightwing uh batman batman armored yeah things like that so three versus three versus two either one you could choose what you want it depends on the party and uh the host how many characters that you want it's actually very interesting if you really want to try um, the PS4's capability of playing games and things like that really get Batman Arkham Origins. Okay, my phone. What is my phone doing? Alright. So, uh, let me talk a little bit about the eight assassins. Uh, from the assassins I know, there's gonna be Dead, Death, excuse me, Death Stroke. I was gonna say Deadpool, but Death Stroke. Uh, he's basically an orange black kind of guy. Um, he has two swords, he has guns, he's a very skilled martial artist, and uh, he's capable of going through harsh um, requirements, like, it gets in really, really well, good um, survival skills. And uh, there's another one named Copper, Copper, Copperhead, not really sure, but um, I'm sure once my photo those up, back to information. But she is a another assassin, and she's a female, so, uh, yeah, and, uh, she's, uh, all, she likes to fight, and kind of like, the way her style is, she likes to kind of flip around the body a bit, mm -hmm. but, um, that's basically, and the other one I really know of is Firefly, but, uh, the whole gist of the story is, uh, actually, you're supposed to, um, Black Mask is his uh, drug dealer or dealer, just a really famous person out in the streets. is like dangerous and like whatever he wants, he gets. And uh, yeah, he wants the Batman dead because this is like the first two years of Batman's, um, you know, Batman's career. Henceforth, the name Batman Arkham Origins. And uh, he wants the Batman dead, so he hires all these assassins for one night to kill Batman. And if they don't, you know. They fail and things. I'm not really sure where he's taking it yet, but uh, some people I know, I believe Bane is in there, Joker. Yes, yeah, it's, uh, it's highly detailed. Da -da. Um, let me see. Okay, my phone is acting crazy. Okay, I'm probably gonna have to. I'm sorry if I didn't really give too much information on uh, Batman Arkham Origins, but uh, it really didn't go too well. So. uh Let's go. I asked a few questions. Go to my email to see what's on the up and up. 
We have five questions, so uh, let's let's check that out. We have one from uh, let's see, John. He's a friend of mine. So uh, John says that he wants to uh, figure out like how like is multiplayer and things are gonna go. Like, is it gonna have to have a certain requirements? PlayStation Network is gonna be the same. Um. Well, I can't say exactly that it's going to be the exact same way the detail get on the PlayStation 3. Of course, that's the PlayStation 4. This is about Arkham Origins. So I can't tell you that the way it's going to be designed is the same way. But uh, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of differences on the way uh, PlayStation 4 is made. On place, Their network is different from PlayStation 3. But um, I'm sure it'll be easy, easy to uh, access, contain, a lot more easier than Xbox Live. I'm not really much of a Microsoft fan. But... Uh, yeah, okay, check, uh, oh, I hope that answers your question, but, um, check another question, uh, okay, we have Lil Ann, Lily Ann, uh, she says that she wants to know whether, um, I didn't know she was much of a Batman fan, but, um, she wants to know whether it, she can actually, um, the gameplay, basically, on the game, how you actually play, uh, if you actually, uh, I may post a link on this video too, on the E3 trailer where the game is finally re released and show how it's actually played. Um, Rocksteady has, Rocksteady and um has really decided that the game has um to stay previously what is previously played like Arkham Arkham Asylum, a lot of that. Um, so yeah, that's that's basically it. It's not no difference really, no difference. Um, but okay. Uh, okay, we have someone anonymous here. Okay, the stealth. He wants to know about the stealth part, will there be any new gadgets? Uh, once again, uh, check out the E3 gameplay trailer, and, um, I promise you I'll post a link on that. That really gives you a good look of what the game is gonna be like. It's gonna be like, I can tell you some of the few gadgets if you really don't have time to actually look at that. So, uh, one of the gadgets is, um... Where it's kind of like, there's this, I don't want to give too much away, just I want you to look at the trailer, but um, it allows you to, like, if you're trying to, like, be a detective, kind of like detective mode, but it allows, this detective mode allows you to rewind certain events to actually see, or, like, see what this criminal, or what the activity, just look at it again and see what happened, and it uh, allows you to look at a lot of things from a different perspective, but, um... Yeah, so you just uh, see what I mean on the E3 trailer, and there's another gadget where if you can shoot this little bar line that grapples onto one person and shoots off to another one, so you can basically stand from a far corner of the room and uh, shoot this thing, and then it'll hit the person, and then another grapple line will hit another object, so the person will fly into the object that that thing grappled onto. So, um, another thing, check that out. It's extremely overpowered, but, uh, I believe uh, it's not limited, but um, it's kind of like a time thing, so you can't just push, push, push. And of course, it's gonna be like certain parts in the game where it allows you, where you can't do that, like dynamite and things like that. It's gonna, it's gonna get tough. So don't expect that to be an easy way to get get through stealth. But um, okay, that's the third question. Let's check some more out. Let's see. Basically, uh, another anonymous person, sorry, my f email is not really working all too well, but um, this person wants to know whether uh, you can actually um, play as other characters, because like, on Arkham Asylum, like, it actually, like, it's a certain edition of the game where it allows you to actually play as a, like, Joker, it actually allows you to play as Joker uh, if you have online mode on the PlayStation 3, and uh, I currently have that, so... Just a heads up, I actually like me show y'all that, but um, yeah, I'm not really too sure. I guess the only thing I can say is um, you could probably play as other um, I don't know, probably like other heroes. I don't, I don't know too much about villains, but uh, besides multiplayer mode, you'd be playing as Bane and stuff. Yep. Okay, I have another question here. I have a question from little little Wayne ninety six. Okay, um, but. He wants to know uh, some DLCs for the game. Only thing I can tell you, uh, there will be Robin, Nightwing, and uh, the Tim, the Tim Drake uh, of Rob, the Tim Drake version of Robin, and yeah. 
Uh, and there's actually certain designs, too, for the characters. It's not just not one design. You can have, like, an animated version where it's just, like, you can't actually see the eyeballs. It's just white, if you know what I mean by that. If you've seen an animated Batman animated series, you know what I mean. But, um... That's basically basically it. Uh, Nightwing and things like you get versions, m many different versions for those characters. Armored, kind of classic, all that jazz, things like that. But um, yeah, I'm sorry, I can't really answer any more questions. Really, uh, I had more questions actually, but I just didn't want to. Um, I couldn't answer them all in this video. I'm really sorry about that. I had to fit in everything, but um. Uh, if you really want, if you want me to uh, answer your, answer some of your questions on the next game review, suggest what games I should um probably like check on. Um, you know, check what's what's going on with that, and uh, I promise you, uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. And I I promise you, I will. If you go, if you el email me on Brotherhood Channel at gmail dot com or Spotswood Burwell at gmail dot com or Yahoo dot com, either one, I will answer your questions. Right there, and I promise you, I will answer them really soon in, in a video coming up. So, um, thank you for watching. This is the Brotherhood Channel. Thank you for uh, all the help. Uh, I'm sure the Brotherhood Channel is going through. It's not one of those channels that is just uh, keeping it straight, I guess. And I um, like do a couple of videos and stop the whole channel. But um, with your likes and um, your like your subscribe, my subscribers, like just please subscribe. It helps boost up the channel's confidence, and I really want to become one of the greats. Um, Right now, I'm not going to say I'm too popular, but uh, I'm hoping I get up there. And uh, thank you for everything. And uh, I promise all them shape video once when I, once I get to 100. Uh, this is the Brotherhood Channel, signing off.